In this video, you'll see how we created the best and most accurate emulation of the Klon Centaur and why the overloud fluid capture is different than any other capturing technique. The Centaur overdrive circuit is composed by three bands, which are mixed together. The red band is the one creating the distortion. The higher the drive settings, the more distortion you have on the output. The blue band cuts the treble of the direct tone and mixes it to the distorted tone. This will add a more compact low end to the final tone. The green band applies a complex EQ curve to the direct tone and mixes it with the other bands. The lower the drive setting, the larger the amount which is mixed to the output. This will balance the overall tone at any drive setting. So, when you raise the drive, the red distortion will increase, the green direct tone decreases, and the blue tone will stay unchanged and vice versa. This is where all the profilers and capturing devices will fail. They have no knowledge of what there actually is into the box, so when you change the drive, they simply adjust the overall gain, like this. This is very different than the real thing. However, working with the schematic only, like all the other modelers do, is not enough. The electrical components used in the Centaur have a large tolerance, meaning that they may differ up to 20% than the value reported on the schematic. So, it's impossible to replicate the exact timbre without capturing the real device. Let's hear the difference. Overloud's fluid capture is the only technology able to replicate the exact tone of a device and at the same time replicate the full dynamic of each knob. This is done by capturing the device at multiple settings and retrofitting the model to recreate the sampled tone. And this is the result.